morning guys <clears throat> this time we're gonna talk about concave mirrors we um, here for this sample problem we have these two equations this is magnification that means how is the image going to be seen in the in the mirror and this is what we know as the mirror equation now P is the distance from the object to the focal lens and Q is equal to um, the image, the distance of the image and F is, uh, it means focal length. Now, we're talking about an object that is placed 30 centimeters in front of a concave mirror. A real image, the image is formed 60 centimeters from the mirror surface, find the local lens. So from this problem, first of all, we're gonna write the givens, as usual. And um, here we have um, an object is placed 30 centimeters. Remember, P is the object, the distance from, uh, uh, of the object from the focal lens. So we say that P, which is related to the object is 30 centimeters from the mirror now as I always suggest in this case not necessary but as I always suggest convert centimeters to meters and this will be 0 0.3 meters now um, the mirror it says um, the image the real image is formed 60 centimeters from the mirror surface so we say that Q that is the distance of the image remember Q is the image distance is 70 centimeters I say 70 is 60 centimeters so we convert to meters is 0.6 meters okay now, what are they asking us to find? It says find the focal length. So F is unknown. This F is not for frequency, it's for focal length. Now, from the mirror equation that you can see right here, I have that 1 over the object's distance plus 1 over the image distance is equal to 1 over focal length so we need to write the equation first so I say 1 over P plus 1 over Q equals 1 over F now let's see we have um, 1 over 0 0.3 meters plus 1 over 0 0.6 meters equals 1 over F now perform this in your calculator 1 divided by 0 0.3 gives me 3.33 over meters plus 1 divided by 0 0.6 gives me 1.67 over meters equals 1 over F so we have 3.33 plus 1.67 this we round it to 5 now remember this uh, we have over meters this is the same as having 5 1 over meter equals 1 over F so what we do is we um, get the um, it's reciprocal form so we're gonna have 5 here is in the top so it's going to be uh, meters is below so I got meters will be in the top and the 5 will be below equals F over 1 so this is the same as having, I'm going to continue right here, this is the same as having F equals 
m over 5 m is meter okay and f is the focal length so there's another way to write uh, fractions in which we can separate from meters and so i can say that one fifth meters and one fifth is a fraction that is equal to 0 0.2 so we can say that the focal length is 0 0.2 meters and this is our final answer done so remember um maybe this is the most confusing part of it so what we do is just change the position of them we exchange the position of the 5 and the m or you can write it as a as a fraction like we did right here but the answer is the same it doesn't change so uh, the focal length as we're talking about lens is going to be measured in meters Now, this time we have uh, <clears throat> another problem in which a ray diagram is requested. Now, it says um, a concave spherical mirror has a focal length of 10 centimeters. Locate the image of a pencil that is placed upright 30 centimeters from the mirror. Find the magnification of the image draw a ray diagram to confirm your answer now the ray diagram i'll be do it i'll be doing it after okay first of all i'm gonna work just with the equations and then i will explain the ray diagram now um from this problem first of all we need to write a givens so let's say let's see what is given to us it says they are giving us a focal length of 10 centimeters. So we have F equals 10 centimeters. This is the same as having 0.1 meters. Locate the image of a pencil that is placed upright 30 centimeters from the mirror. Now, they are asking us to locate the image and the pencil is placed at a distance of 30 centimeters so the distance of the object is known as P and is 30 centimeters from the um, from the mirror this in meters is 0 0.3 meters now that says find the magnification of the image so M is unknown we have magnification here and it says uh, draw right diagram to confirm your answer. That that one I'm gonna do it later, as I told you. Now, so take a look. Locate the image, but also find the magnification. So basically, we need two things. We need the image. Remember, P is the object and Q is the image. So I need to find my Q, and I need to find magnification. So in order to find Q. I will use the mirror equation. Why? Because I have the focal length and I have the object's distance so I can easily isolate for the image. So that is what I'm going to do right now in the first step. So my first step is locate the image. Now, I have um, this equation 1 over P plus 1 over Q equals 1 over F. So I will isolate for 1 over Q. Okay, so I say 1 over Q equals focal, 1 over focal, minus, because this was all this term is adding, so it goes to the other side to subtract 1 over object's distance. So 1 over Q is equal to 1 over 0 0.1 meter minus 1 over 0 0.3 meters. Perform this in your calculator 
1 divided by 0 0.1 is 10 1 over meter or 10 over meter it doesn't matter minus 1 divided by 0.3 gives me 3.3 or 33 mm, times 1 uh, this is the unit 1 over meter okay remember this is the unit 1 over meter 10 minus 3.3 This gives me 1 over Q equals 6.67, 1 over meter. This is the unit. So what I do right now is I get the reciprocal. I cannot get the reciprocal before. If not, your answer will be wrong. So I'm going to continue on the other side, right here. So I'm going to have Q equals The reciprocal that is um, 0 0.15 and now meters is um, 1 over meter terms meter so that means that my image is gonna be observed or be located 15 0 0.15 meters from the mirror knowing this we can easily get the magnification So we say magnification equals now we don't have the the height of the pencil this is in case that we have the object uh, size and the objects and um, the image size but we don't have it so we can but we can use the other that is um image distance divided by objects distance so my magnification is negative q divided by p negative Q, which is um, 0 0.15 meters divided by P, that is um, 0 0.3 meters. My magnification here is equal to 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.3, negative 0 0.5. Now, what does this mean? What does this really mean? If you take a look at here, it says sign conventions for magnification. We have that a positive symbol means upright and virtual image, but a negative symbol means that it's the image that is formed in the mirror is inverted plus real. So if we need to define what type of magnification we have, we would say that negative 0.5 means in conclusion, the object will be reduced because it is less than one. Okay, if it's less than one, that, that means that the object will be reduced. Now, what type of image is formed? As we have a negative symbol, the image. We're talking about the image, okay? The, the object's image will be reduced right here. So the image is inverted and real. If we need to write a conclusion about the magnification. So as I told you before, um, what you have to think of is that in this part where you have the reciprocals, here you just need to subtract normally 10 minus 3.33 and then raise it um, to the negative first power or you, you can do this easily 10 minus 3.33 and then add to the negative 1 this is 0.15 rounded and 1 over m just switch the position that is going to be m over 1 we don't need to write the 1 as a as a denominator so my meters is going to be in the top now about the ray diagram guys i told you that i'm going to do it um, later today is only for um, magnification and mirror equation and of course the sign conventions now what if my my magnification 
it would have been uh, more than one. Okay, uh, magnification more than one means that the object reflected, I mean the image, is going to be uh, larger than the object initially. In this case, as the magnification is 0.5, that means that the object is it was, for example, if the object measures 20 centimeters, then the image, its reflection, will be only 10 centimeters because it was reduced by half. Remember, 0.5 is equal to to one half so that is uh, what magnification means and this exercise is done in two steps plus the ray diagram but the ray diagram tomorrow thank you guys for watching see you